a topological group, which is also a topological manifold, has an underlying Lie structure. In other words, is isomorphic to a Lie group. This is one of the interpretations of a question which finds its way to one of the most famous set of questions in mathematics. This is Hilbert's fifth problem. In this video, we'll try to make sense of this particular interpretation of the question by understanding the different terms and we will have a glimpse of the approaches made to solve this problem. So what is a topological group? can be considered as a topological space which is also a group such that the product operation and the inverse map are continuous. What about a topological manifold? This is a topological space which locally resembles a Euclidean space. We call it n-dimensional if it resembles Rn. In other words, if you take a point on the space and an open neighborhood around it, there exists a homeomorphism between the open set and the Euclidean space Rn with its metric topology. Lie groups. To understand it, we need to understand this term. Recall the local resemblance of manifolds to a Euclidean space. The pair containing the neighborhood and the homeomorphism is called a chart. Now consider two charts. We say they are compatible, more specifically C infinity compatible, which we will denote using this hard sign, if these transition functions are C infinity. To get a more visual approach, consider these two sets U and V. On applying phi on the intersection, say we get this orange set, and on applying the psi function, we get this yellow set. The transition functions helps us traveling to and fro between these sets. Now consider a collection of these charts which are pairwise compatible. And the union of these sets gives us the entire space. This set is called an atlas. Now an atlas is called maximal if it is not contained in any other atlas. A manifold along with a maximal atlas, is a smooth manifold. The other name of the maximal atlas is a differentiable structure on M. Therefore, the term smooth in smooth manifold makes sense. Now, let's return to the definition of Lie groups. It is a topological group which is also a finite dimensional real smooth manifold where the group operations of multiplication and inversion are smooth maps or C infinity maps. Recall that I had said this is one of the interpretations of the problem. This suggests that there isn't a unique statement which defines the problem. Now let's have a look on the progresses made towards this interpretation. The first major breakthrough was made in 1933 when John von Neumann solved the case for compact groups. In 1934, the case for locally compact abelian groups was solved by Lev Pontryagin. 1950 became significant as by the works of Andrew Gleason, D.N. Montgomery and Leo Zippin, this interpretation of the problem in particular got resolved, which says that a topological group underlies a unique Lie group structure if and only if the underlying space of the group is also a topological manifold. Another advancement occurred in 1953 when Hidehiko Yamabe improved the earlier result. Check out the description to check out his works in details. Let's have an overview for now. This is called Gleason Yamabe theorem. Consider a locally compact group G. Take an open neighborhood around the identity then there exists an open subgroup G dash and a compact subgroup which is contained inside the neighborhood such that G dash mod the normal subgroup is isomorphic to a Lie group. 